Hello everyone, today I want to discuss about DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. DHCP, one of the most commonly used protocol in a TCP IP network. DHCP is a network management protocol used to dynamically assign an IP address to any device on a network. DHCP automates and centrally manages these configurations rather than requiring network administrators to manually assign IP addresses to all network devices. DHCP can be implemented on small local networks as well as large enterprise networks. DHCP assigns new IP addresses in each location when devices are moved from place to place like with a tablet computer to a coffee shop or back at the office. The user's device can connect to another wireless LAN, use DHCP to list a new IP address in that LAN, and begin working on the new network. And network administrators do not have to manually configure each device with a valid IP address or reconfigure the device with a new IP address if it moves to a new location on the network. Without DHCP, the user asks for information about the local network and configure settings manually. If you setting IP manually with more than a few users making mistakes. For example, Think about the role of DHCP for a host computer. You connected a new computer in the network. The computer acts as a DHCP client. As a DHCP client, the computer begins with no IP version 4 settings, no IP address, no subnet mask, no default router, and no DNS server IP addresses. But a DHCP client does have knowledge of the DHCP protocol. So the client can use the protocol to discover a DHCP server and request to list an IP version 4 address. DHCP is made up of numerous components such as the DHCP server, DHCP client, and DHCP relay. The DHCP server, typically either a server or router, is a network device that runs on the DHCP service. The DHCP server holds IP addresses as well as related information pertaining to configuration. The DHCP client is a device such as a computer or phone that connects to a network and communicates with a DHCP server. The DHCP relay manages requests between DHCP clients and servers. Typically, relays are used when an organization has to handle large or complex networks. Other components include the IP address pool, subnet mask, relays, and DHCP communication protocol. Why we need DHCP? Every device on a network must have a unique, unicast IP address to access the network and its resources. It is important to know why we use DHCP. DHCP minimizes configuration errors such as typographical errors and also prevent address conflicts between two computers. Reduce network administration by centralized and automated configuration. Also, efficient handling of IP address changes for clients, such as those for portable devices that move to different locations on a wireless network. Using a DHCP relay agent, which eliminates the need for DHCP server on every subnet, also, the DHCP server stores the configuration information in a database like valid TCP IP configuration for all clients on the network, valid IP addresses as well as excluded addresses, reserved IP addresses associated with particular DHCP clients, 
the least duration or the length of time for which the IP address can be used before a least renewal is required. The HTTP server stores this configuration information in its database. How DHCP works As I said, DHCP allows a host to obtain an IP address dynamically when it connects to the network. A client typically broadcasts a query message for this information immediately after booting up. The DHCP server responds to the client request by providing IP configuration information from a configured range of addresses called a pool, which previously specified by a network administrator. This includes a specific IP address and duration of the lease. For example, the DHCP process to lease an IP address uses these four messages between the client and server. When a DHCP configured device connects to the network, the client broadcasts a DHCP discover packet to identify any available DHCP servers on the network. A DHCP server replies with a DHCP offer, which is a lease offer message with an assigned IP address, subnet mask, DNS server, and default gateway information, as well as the duration of the lease. The client can receive multiple DHCP offer packets if the local network has more than one DHCP server. The client chooses the first offer and broadcasts a DHCP request packet that identifies the explicit server and lease offer that is accepting. DHCP server send acknowledgement packet to assign the address, subnet mask, default router, and DNS server IP addresses. Let me show you a clear example between a computer and a DHCP server on the same LAN. When you connect in the computer, the computer do not have an IP address yet, but they need to send IP packets to find an IP address. Two special IP version 4 addresses allow a host to send and receive messages on the local subnet. 0.0.0.0 An address reserved for use as a source IP version 4 address for hosts that do not yet have an IP address. Also 255.255.255.255 The local broadcast IP address. All broadcast packets are sent to this destination address on the local data link. For example, PC1 sends a discover message with source IP address of 0.0.0.0 because computer does not have an IP address to use yet. The packet to destination 255.255.255.255 which is sent in a LAN broadcast frame reaching all hosts in the subnet. The client hopes that there is a DHCP server on the local subnet. DHCP server sends back the offer message to destination 255.255.255.255 again. Server sends the package to all local computers, all computers in the subnet received the offer message, however, the original discover message lists a number called the client ID or MAC address that identifies the original computer. As a result, PC1 knows that the offer message, the rest of the computers will receive the offer message, but the message lists another client ID or MAC address. So. The rest of the computer ignored the offer message and PC1 accept the message. DHCP protocol is not a routable protocol or nor it is a secure one. DHCP is limited to a specific local area network. 
if network administrators want a DHCP server to provide a routing to multiple subnets on a given network, they must configure DHCP relay services. Located on interconnecting routers, the DHCP requests have to cross. These agents relay messages between DHCP clients and servers located on different subnets. As you see the diagram, Computer A sends discover message to find DHCP server and DHCP server located in different network. The Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 in router 1 should be configured IP helper address and the DHCP server IP address. To reach discover message to DHCP server and reply back to computer A. In the next video, I will configure verifying and troubleshooting DHCP. I hope this information is useful to you and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.